As adults, it's pretty rare for crows to be killed. So when one dies, the others notice. Are they just scared? Or is something deeper going on? Kaylee Swift, a PhD candidate at the University of Washington, set up an experiment to find out. She visits a park in Seattle for a few days, leaving piles of peanuts for the crows. Then one day, Swift shows up looking very different. Wearing a mask and wig, she carries a dead, taxidermied crow. The first one that sees her sounds the alarm. The flock erupts in protest. The crows seem to wail and scold her and the dead bird. Swift calls these crow funerals, though they're not the solemn memorials we put on for our dead. She thinks these noisy gatherings are opportunities for crows to learn about the dangers that surround them within the safety of the group. When an unmasked Swift returns to the park the next week with more tasty peanuts, the crows are quiet and wary. They seem to have learned there's something hazardous about this place. Still, they eat the peanuts, but they take longer to approach and seem to be much more suspicious. And when Swift returns wearing the mask, they lose it. Even without the dead crow, they still see her as a threat. 